Hello everyone, I'm Animus J, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we are on J World, and we're going to be continuing to work on the Skylands. We are in the Desert Pyramid slash storage system right now though, because, well, I have some work to do, and I noticed this. This is my, this is my inner chest, right? I have a shulker box that doesn't even have, doesn't even have anything in it right now. But look at this, I, I don't even have room for anything in 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 my end chest so i have these shulker boxes this is i don't it's gonna have something in it this one is for the project we're gonna be working on this is gonna be our redstone box and then this is gonna be our backups for like backup armor and that kind of a thing so the first thing i'm gonna do is get my end chest situated and then what we're going to do is we're gonna head over to the skylands and we are going to work on the entrances to the skyland area so that we have elevators on every single side of it and so that we have a little bit of security as well. And here we are back at the Skylands. It is nighttime, which is a little scary and there's a baby zombie. I still get flashbacks sometimes. Anyways, guys, uh, oh, ah, ah, good, 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 no, 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 it just started. Ah, I can't, uh, there's lava. Why is there lava? I There's two of them! <laughs> what is even going on? Anywho, here is what I came up with in regards to organization for the end chest. Let me just throw some more of this into my lovely pink box. So as you can see, this pink shulker box represents food, which I need to keep one of, one of those on me. Cheeseburgers, yes. Uh, okay, please don't fall, thanks. That was awesome of you. And then we have the redstone box, which I just kind of filled up with a whole bunch of stuff that I could think of. Now, this is going to fill up more and more as we do more projects and then get leftovers. And then obviously we'll refill the redstone and whatnot. And on that subject, we're going to, we're going to have to actually go mining sometime soon because I'm starting to run out of redstone. That's, uh, I think I have like half a stack of redstone blocks left over in my storage system in, in the, the desert temple. But I know for you guys, that's probably, some of you guys anyways, that's more than enough, but some of you understand that's nowhere near enough. Anyways, okay, this is a, this is just kind of sand and glass for right now. This is going to be our food box that will stay in the end chest. This is our project box that we will basically, whatever we're working on, we're going to store stuff for it in here. Our redstone box, I just went over. Rarities has things like our sponges, our wither skeleton skulls, our bedrock blocks, our dry sponges. Yeah, just, you know, those kinds of things. So things that are insane, insanely hard to find. And this is our backups, backup tools, backup armor, all of that stuff. And so we'll get more and more chests in this. Uh, I think in the original J World that I had, I had it almost completely full of shulker boxes. And what I started doing is dividing it down further, like one of them for tools, one of them for armor, one of them for food, one for for rockets stuff like that so in regards to today's project let me first sleep and just before i get too much into it i did tidy up the the giant hole a bit you can see i put some areas where the dirt looks like it's kind of caved in a little bit as the skyland was being ripped from the earth I cleaned up some of the corners a little bit, so I think it looks less square, although it's obviously still super flat right there. But, you know, I, I'm okay with that. I'm pretty okay with that, at least for now. And you'll see something a little bit different down here. And that is, I put in, these are where all the floors are gonna be. I wasn't sure how I was, how I was going to do it, and obviously it's boring just making a couple floors. And I was playing around with designs, and I think that this one is going to work. So that has snow golems in it, and basically it has it sage. So that one snow golem, I believe, covers two or three floors. I can't remember. I got to double check, but we're going to add a few more of those guys. And you can see right now the slimes are just kind of bouncing around on the bedrock. We'll develop a collection system and all of that stuff soon. But what I want to do first is I want to get the entrance to this place taken care of. And then another thing that we need to do is mob proofing the entire area around the hole because all of these dirt blocks are spawnable. So in regards to this entrance, what we're going to do is we're going to expand out this white concrete and the red carpet, so to speak, further. Hello, hi, it's in order to prevent 
dudes like this. All right, you just stay down there. And what we're going to do is we're going to enclose it in with some iron bars in order to provide some security. And also what we're going to do is we're going to have a redstone contraption that is going to shut a gate that's going to be right here. So I've designed all of this out and I know it's probably a little hard for you to imagine it. So let me just get out all of my stuff. I'll get into it. And once I have this one done, I'll show you everything that it looks like and does. And that way you're going to have an idea of what we're going to do to the other four. Now, one thing that has to happen, the first thing that has to happen is this redstone which operates our water elevator going up and down has to rotate by 90 degrees in that direction and fortunately i already worked out exactly how to do that it's not too tricky just got to move this piston over to this side and then just rotate this stuff on over put a repeater right here easy peasy lemon squeezy so in regards to the reception area because that's essentially what this is is the reception area to the skylands this is going to be the welcoming platform i guess you could say and what we're going to do is sorry let me find where where is it is it in my inventory it is in my inventory already okay so here's what we're going to do oh and yes these is these are polished diorite stairs okay i didn't mention it in the an <laughs> the anime episode if you didn't see the anime episode go watch it it's stupid it's ridiculous Anyways, in that one, we used some polished diorite to make statues up in the Skylands area up there. And I, I want to start trying to use diorite, okay? I, I want to try to use it. Not in big ways, okay? But in little ways. It's kind of, I want to challenge myself, basically, to use it. Okay, so I think, can, why can't I, thank you. Jeez, that was weird. Now then right here this is guys this is it's behaving really strangely it's like not letting me okay see i'm clicking right now but i can't there it goes i don't know what the deal is something's going on okay so obviously this place needs to be secure right and actually this needs to be here yeah 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 okay and then so what i figured we could do is we could use iron bars like so to make it look like it's a fence right and that's going to be going all around but then actually these need to be three high and then what we're going to do is we're going to have end rods going in between and the end rods are going to be like like an electric zapper doodle thing <laughs> zapper doodle whatever that means okay and yeah like that and then these will be here and here here there okay and yeah so that way this platform will be completely safe now the one thing is we do need an opening and so the way the opening is going to go can this is really bothering me is it because it's no because it let me put it put it there i don't guys i don't know what's going on but it's really getting to me okay that goes there there and then here and then what's going to be up here is not going to be end rods but we're going to have iron bars going across right there and then what we're going to have on the floor in order to keep this open but at the same time safe now i can't remember which way trap doors oh hey 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 get out that would have been actually a perfect test but unfortunately i didn't have this part in yet so then wait how did i do this like that i think is how that's going to be yeah that looks good right there so then the thing is we can pass through this no problemo let me just sleep because it's night and it's been raining there we go much better now we can pass through this as i said no problem okay and that's because our height is small enough to fit between the trap doors and the iron bars however zombies and even villagers and skeletons uh, all, all the mobs oh actually you know creepers will fit though creepers will fit okay so we just got to watch out for creepers but see here's the thing and uh, i did test it with baby zombies and with my security measure in place which is this right here haha -ha, yes so while i'm standing on that it opens this up but i'm thinking maybe it needs to open towards the inside yeah i think it does because if you're standing on a trapdoor when it opens it passes you through 
the area basically that you can walk. So let's face them like so, and then when we stand on it, they open in that direction. That way if there is something standing here hitting his head, boop, 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 this opens and it opens to this direction, that way he's still behind it and that'll work. And you can hear my dinging for letting me know when the bubbles are ready for me to go up. But anyways guys, this so this is what I'm thinking. Hopefully you like it, hopefully uh, you think it's pretty cool, hopefully you think it looks pretty secure. I think, I think it's pretty good. Oh, how are we gonna do, oh wait, we gotta do that, okay. And then I think I had it like so. Is that what I did? I think that's what I did. Maybe more so on the outside for these ones. No, that looks kind of dumb, doesn't it? Actually, it looks okay, but maybe these should be on the outside? Let's see. How does that... Yeah, I think I think that's the way that we need to go. Water? Hi. Uh, yeah, and then the whole purpose of the stairs, guys, was one, decorative and then two, to act as kind of a gutter for the rain sort of a thing for floods, you know, any kind of disaster that might happen. And then one other thing we're gonna do is we're going to have some kind of pod, like pod, no, what is, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Pad, yes, some kind of a pad right here. And what this pad, is someone creeping on me? I thought I heard footsteps. What this pad is going to be is some kind of like charging or docking station for a security robot. So we're gonna build up a security robot here and right here. So now what we need to do is I'm gonna finish this up and then we're going to copy every aspect of this, the water elevator, the security door, the fence, the welcome reception area on all four corners of the Skylands. And here we are just putting in the final touches on the final station. It, it, it took a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it did, did take a little bit of time. But overall, I think it looks pretty good, but I am, if I'm honest, a little bit underwhelmed, so to speak. Mind you, I said the same thing about the pyramid and then it ended up being uh, basically awesome so I'll tell you I'll tell you why I'm feeling underwhelmed here in a second and but basically what it is is that we have this huge skylands right and then we have these tiny little entrances okay and I'll show you what I mean I still got to do the end rods but we have, I mean, look at the Skylands, right? It's big, it's huge. We have the massive chains, which by the way, I think that one, one of them, I'm pretty sure it's that one, is off by one block. <laughs> it's not centered, but that's okay, right? Because, you know, maybe this, the chains slid. Look at these guys camping out. Maybe the chains slid a little bit, you know, when the island raised from the ground. Anyways, um, but if you look at it, look, we have this, I mean, for crying out loud, the, the clamp thingy that holds down the chain is bigger than the entrance, right? I mean, it's just this like tiny little thing. I don't know, do you guys feel that way? Do you guys feel like it's too small? Cause like we have these tiny little stations. Then again though, if you're thinking about our storyline and what's happened, I mean, can we really afford to have some big, super nice thing? right because there's ravagers there's not like the ravagers like the animal thing but you know uh i'm trying I, I was gonna say pillagers but those those are a minecraft thing too you know people who are raiding another minecraft term gosh dang it minecraft <laughs> taking all the apocalyptic <laughs> terms people who are looting haha there we go people who are you know, ruining the landscape and stealing resources and all of that kind of stuff. So really, maybe it needs to be small and secure, possibly, rather than big. I was thinking about making a path that went from entrance all the way around to entrance. I was thinking about doing that. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that should be a thing. Maybe it should be a thing. Maybe, you know what? Maybe it should be because maybe it was a thing 
before the Skylands lifted out of the sky. Maybe that was it. Maybe that was the thing. I don't know. I'll think about it. Let me know what you think about it. And so I'm going to finish putting these in really quick. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make our first security robot for these entrances. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to propose a few ideas just that I have right now. It's honestly not many. I'm sort of struggling here a little bit, okay? So I do need your guys' help. But what I want to do is come up with ideas for... I want you guys to come up with ideas for these security robots and I want you to send them to me either on Twitter or on Discord. Oh, and you know what though? If I do it a four like that, our dude is gonna be not centered. Shoot, it's gonna have to be bigger than I thought then. I want, but I want you guys to send me your ideas on on Twitter and in the Discord. Links to those are down in the description, and that way uh, I can, you know, we can see what ideas that you guys have. Okay, so here's this thing, which is very small and very simple, and honestly looks more like it should be some kind of retinal scanner, which would mean retinal being an, an eye scanner. If you guys didn't know what that meant, not that I think anybody is stupid or anything, it's just that's kind of a big word to be honest. Okay, so let me just fill this out a little bit quicker, or a little, real, huh? What am I trying to say? <laughs> let me just fill this out real quick. Okay, that's what I was trying to say. So we're, we're going to do all like landscaping kind of stuff here eventually. I'm kind of putting that off, honestly, because we're going to basically ruin the landscape. But, okay, so maybe this thing, right, goes here. Should we do, oh, shoot. Okay, hold on. Oop like oh that's kind of facing the wrong way though right okay hold on let me do that okay and then we do so if it's we put it right there it kind of looks like it swivels in that direction which is obviously not what we want so then if i come down here and then boop like that okay so now it's like a stand where you come up and you go Boop, I scan right and then you come in sort of a thing so that's like a really quick one and we could put one on both sides even oops oh no I'm breaking stuff okay so there's that and oh I didn't put this back did I wait what oh okay apparently that's a thing got it cool all right so then we have retinal scanners we come in you can come in and you go Boop, and then you scan your eyes, right? And then it's cleared for access or something like that. And then we come in and then we got these dudes, which kind of the the way that people have been making these things so far from what I've seen is you do this, you do the double thing. I Shoot. I mean, I'm okay with taking other people's ideas, but I'd rather have our own ideas, right? So, I mean, there's that. That looks okay. But, like, does it really? I don't know. I'm just adding stuff right now. <laughs> Looks awesome. Okay. Uh, that's a, it's a little bit tall, which is okay. It's okay to be tall, except it's narrow and tall. And the whole thing is that this is a security robot that's going to stop people from coming in. Okay. People who aren't supposed to be in here are going to get stopped by this robot. So, I think I'm going to leave it at that. I don't actually know how much time we have left or how much time we've been recording in this episode and that's because I just I just haven't been paying as close attention I've been honestly I've been trying to just rush to get this out because I've had a busy week this week and a lot's going on with this virus obviously and I <laughs> I know you're thinking it, but if the virus thing is making everybody stay at home, why are you, why are you busy? Well, that's because I'm having to play Mr. Daddy right now to my children, <clears throat> and yeah, that's a little bit difficult, guys. I love my kids, and I, I, I'm okay at teaching. I used to teach in the kids' church at the the old church that I went to. Um, and I was quite good at it, I believe. All the kids loved me anyways. However, 
I did not become a teacher for a reason. <laughs> and so this last few weeks, I'm super appreciative of the teachers that we have. I always have been. However, it's been very frustrating trying to do videos and and also at the same time uh you know help my kids with all of their work and everything can i just please get this to do what it's supposed to do there we go okay yeah so so this video is a little bit rushed i mean it's not super rushed because it doesn't have to be out until tomorrow but i can't stand doing things last minute and also the fact that this is last minute means that other things will be last minute as well so on the topic of the coronavirus i do hope that you guys are staying safe i do hope that you guys are all doing well and <clears throat> that none of you are sick and that financially and all of that kind of stuff you guys are taking care of I know that things are a little bit crazy out there right now, and hopefully you're able to stay away from the craziness. But, you know, unfortunately some of it, some of it is necessary, and so I hope whatever part of the craziness you have to go through or, you know, to brave, basically, that you're you're able to do it with, with a good heart and, and still help other people and, and you know not get bitter towards other people and that's one thing guys is understand people are scared <clears throat> some people some people are doing wrong things okay it's just some people are like that but don't don't take it out on people even the ones who are doing wrong i mean it's okay to call them out but don't get yourself bent out of shape over it right don't get yourself in a place where you're all worked up over it because in the end you can only control yourself. You can't control other people. And some people are they're gonna do wrong because they want to do wrong. And then some people need help. Some people are just desperately trying to take care of their own family and they don't know any other way how to do it. So in any case, we're gonna go ahead and call the video right here. I hope that you're all doing really well. I hope that this video finds you well. And <laughs> I'm sure a lot more people are staying home and have the ability to watch more videos. So yeah, I mean, maybe a plus for me, but who knows? We'll see what happens. Stay safe out there. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't. I'm Animus J, and I'll see you guys next time.